time. It was just hard on everybody. And me, you know, he, he's my everything. Cheryl McKeeby is devastated by the loss of her husband, Ricky. The 54-year-old was killed crossing Reisterstown Road south of Franklin Boulevard just after 7 p.m. Monday. He's not the type of person that will fool around in the street because when me and him be crossing the street, he's real strict about that, real strict rules. According to the National Transportation Safety Administration, fatal pedestrian accidents rose more than 9% last year, the highest number in 20 years. Baltimore County Police Sergeant Shane Moreau started combing through local data when something caught his eye. What I found was that primarily the crashes were happening due to pedestrian error. In fact, so far this year, of the 18 people killed in Baltimore County, in 14 incidents, the walker was to blame. The biggest error is not paying attention. And they're, they're being distracted, either not, they're walking against traffic, so they have their back to the, where the, the vehicles are coming from. Uh, but they're also distracting themselves with cell phones or other handheld electronic devices. Other factors often include alcohol, drugs, and walking in dangerous areas. And with more than 500 additional non-fatal pedestrian accidents this year in Baltimore County alone, the police chief wants to see the rate drop. These are terrible situations for the family, and uh, we have a duty to focus on these areas and do everything we can from encouraging citizens to use crosswalks to encourage citizens to focus on what they're doing for their own safety. Investigators still don't know the cause of the accident that killed Ricky McKeevy, although he wasn't in a crosswalk. His wife of six years wants to know what happened to the man she was deeply in love with. He went and asked my parents for my hand in marriage, he did. And my father was like, this, we ain't seen this in a long time, like since the 50s, sure, yeah, go ahead. It just don't make sense. A 51-year-old friend of McKeeby's was also severely injured in that accident. The driver did stay at the scene, and the investigation could take a couple of weeks. Adam May, WBAL, TV 11 News.